Good evening and welcome back once again. In today's video, I want to show us how to cut an L shot. Now, here on the board are my measurements for my regular trouser. Now, first thing you need to know is that um, short measurement is a bit different from a regular pants trouser measurement. Now, the difference mostly comes on the two aspects. One, on the crouch. Two, on the hips. Now, these two areas are the areas you'll be battling with and you must pay or make focus your attention on for you to have a perfect shot. Now, most importantly, all shots must stop before the knee. Now, remember that our knee points usually from west to knee, west to knee is usually 21. Now, most people will want their shot to stop before the knee or on the knee. So, most of the times, if you encounter a situation whereby your short measurement is 21 and then you are having um, a shot that is um, uh, your knee is 21 that means your shot and your knee are tally so i will take my time to explain how to go about all these processes so right now we all know our regular um, deep measurements crash 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 is gotten by for trouser, tips divided by four. Then, for this crouch now, for this shot now, I'm going to uh, uh, manipulate the crouch, but then I'm not going to increase the crouch measurement. Rather, I'm going to increase the hip measurement for me to have a bigger crouch, so that the hip and the crouch will tally. Because if you increase your crouch, and then they don't increase your hip measurement, it will look like a leggings for the man. So what then do you do? How do you manipulate the crouch? You manipulate the crouch by adding Plus two, plus 2 inches on the hips so the normal hips is 46 so for this shot now I'm going to make use of 48 hips to cut my, my shot so I'm having 12 inch crouch as against 11.5 it should have been so that's the manipulation you're going to dig on for the hip and the crouch to tally you have to increase the hip for you to get a bit bigger crouch than the normal trailer length crouch you should have been so and then next thing you're gonna do now is the laps is plus one. Now the knee is plus three. The short length remains the same, and then the waist remains the same. So this manipulation is for you to have ease on the trust on the shot. But then in most cases, your customer might as well demand a, a, a fitted a fitted shot. So you, you reduce this measurement. But for a standard shot, it should be freer than the normal trouser. Yeah, uh, 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 fitting. So you have to add extra two to the hip, extra one to the lap, and then extra three to the knee. That's these measurements should have been the trouser measurements, but then for the short part of it, you add these values to get a perfect short measurement. So I believe with this explanation, all of us can now attempt our nail short cutting perfectly well without having any issues. So let's get down to cutting processes. So right now. I'm cutting the shot, so you fold the normal way you fold the trouser, and then you come to the damp part of it, you add your two inches, the two inches as well for the trouser as well, you add it on the shot for the hemming of the face allowance, then you mark your two inches, you extend the line, then the short length is 21, so you apply directly 21, no reduction, no increment, 21 short length, you apply, because my customer wants his own to stop on the knee. So you extend your line as well. You extend your line as well. So this is the short length I'm having right now. So you have it this way that your short length 21. Then the next thing is you apply the crouch, which you have already determined, which is 12. You apply the crouch, which is 12. Don't forget, it's very, very important. Now, on some cases, we have some people might make requests for you to have um, a, a, a tight um, or a fitted shot. You can reduce the crouch by half inch, make it 11.5. So 12 is a crouch. The crouch of a shot and trouser are not the same at all. So you now apply the real, um, the, the increased increase hip here, which is 48 now. So you mark, then you mark extra 2 inches. Now the next you're going to do now, is the waistline the waistline is 9.5 that it's um that's eight nine and a half 
your mark and then extra one inch then the next we're gonna do now as well is we extend the line from this point to the west line then you span the shot by half an inch then you bring it out to this point and then you raise the back you raise the crouch two inches high to get your real heat from the intercept you mark 0 0.5 half an inch then you make a curve the joint and the next you're gonna apply is the knee which is um, now um, 20 and a half you remember you added three inches on the knee 20 and a half that you mark at 21 then you use your deep curve as well to connect So this is the front block of your shot and then I'll take my time as well to cut it now and then mark the back to show you. Now the pocket of the shot is usually a bit um, freer, 8 inch, eight inches this way and then at the, on the upside two and a half. Now I'm gonna cut now and then show you how to cut the back. So right now we are done cutting the front and then I will take my time as well to show you how to cut the back. So you notch your pocket, notching is half inch, very important, you notch as well half an inch, very important. Now you differentiate the front and back with this marking. Now you draw out the fabric in front as well, okay. arrange it properly. And then you place this way, and then you place this way for you to get your um, back block for the shot. Then remember, it's your shot, so whatever you measure is what you're going to sew. So, right now, the normal back extensions we do make two inches remains two inches extra extras these are the normal for the for those that have must have watched the video on trousers you repeat the same process here and then you bring out the line here on the crouch and then you raise the back as well by two inches 1.5 to two inches you raise the back the reason for you to raise the back so that the shot will not be a low west on your on your customer so from the west planted point for the, on the front, you mark two inches high above or high. Two inches. Then you take it down to the tip of the pocket on the front. And then on the west area for the back, you mark 1.5. And then on the crotch area, you mark two inches. With the help of your hip curve, you connect. Then when you must have connected, you are seeing that you have achieved your shot marking front and back and then you also use the hip curve as well to connect this as well so this is basically how to mark or how to draft your shot for the front and back so after this now the next thing you're going to do now is to cut the components which takes the same method with the trouser the flap the belt but the, the band and the pocketing all those stuff are the same but now the only thing that changes or that change is the method of uh, your crouch determination and then your hip measurement that are increased so with, the, with the, this video now i believe all of us can now make or uh, draft the shot and then cut accordingly after you must have seen um, the difference from the shot measurements in the crouch and then the hip enlargement we have so try this method and then you must see the perfect finishing the perfect fit you will have remember that the sewing remains the same there's no change just continue with the way you make your trousers and then you will come out to have a nice and better 
outfit as a shirt. So right now, this is the front and the back pattern of my shirt. And then I will take my time now to cut the band, the belt loop, and everything, which are the same measurement, the same parameter with our normal trouser. Thank you for watching, and don't forget, this is Mr. Defined. Have a nice, nice dress. Bye.